I grew up here. I learned how to swim at the beach. Yeah, I enjoyed Wakefield Lake year round. There's a lot of phosphorus that's in Wakefield Lake that causes algal blooms. It's on the impaired waters list, so we're looking for ways to reduce the phosphorus that gets there. And this is a huge project to clean up Wakefield Lake, and so we want to be able to see a noticeable difference in the water quality in Wakefield Lake. And this site stood out as a good opportunity for a partnership between the Watershed District and the City of Maplewood because it's city property and it also is directly adjacent to an existing storm sewer that reaches the lake and currently gets no treatment. This was a good spot to put a filter that would intercept flows coming down the existing storm sewer and run um, stormwater through a spent lime filter that would reduce phosphorus before it gets to the lake. We get spent lime for free. Uh, spent lime is a byproduct of St. Paul Regional Water's uh, drinking water service that they did. So as part of their process to make drinking water safe for us to drink. We've studied this chamber for a couple of years on a small little parcel on the south end of Wakefield Lake. We found pretty good removal rates of some heavy metals and mostly for uh, the phosphorus and orthophosphates and stuff uh, along those lines. Right now the, the water quality in the lake is about at 130 micrograms per liter of phosphorus. And that's kind of an abstract number. What we're trying to get to is 60. So this is really exciting because it's an innovative project too. So this is something new. We're going to test it. We're monitoring. We're, we're going to be continually adapting to what we're doing. So it's pretty exciting. When this is all done, you won't see this box. You'll just see turf over the top and some access manholes and an access road for maintenance. The hope is that if you come back in several years and you're standing on the edge of the lake, that you'll see a noticeable improvement in the transparency of the water. I'm definitely looking forward to the improvements to restore the beauty of the area, to enjoy the wildlife all that much more.